Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm really excited because we're doing a really awesome vegan barbecue. I want this to be like, because if you guys were coming to my house for a barbecue, this is what I would give you. So we have some awesome pineapple tofu skewers. We have this delicious watermelon salad and it is so good. They're so easy to make and I'm really excited to share these recipes with you. I am so happy it's finally summer. Let's get into the recipes. Okay, so I went ahead and I prepped all of our ingredients for the skewers. So. We have some chopped up red onion. And as you can see, I cut everything into nice big pieces, okay? These are going on skewers. We want them to be big and substantial. Then I have my pineapple. We've got our green bell pepper. And I like using green bell pepper for something like this because green bell pepper, believe it or not, is actually the cheapest pepper. We have super firm tofu that again, I cubed into these nice pieces. Nothing too small. This is what we want here. And we have our three ingredients for our marinade. So we have some olive oil, barbecue sauce, and we got teriyaki sauce. I finally went ahead and upgraded to metal skewers. And by upgraded, I mean I spent seven bucks on them. But if you want to use wood skewers, you totally can. But I have these little metal skewers. I got them online, super cheap. I'll link them down below. Then I just have a pan over here, and that's what we'll put the skewers on as I make them. Making skewers is very easy. You just I hope you know how to do this. You take the ingredients and you slide them on. There is no right or wrong way to do this. You can make patterns, you could do whatever you want. You could put as many or as little ingredients as you like. It truly does not matter how you make them. This is your chance to go crazy and be artistic and have fun and do, do what feels good. Do what feels right to you, you know? Sometimes you have to put two of the same ingredient in a row. What I really love about making skewers is that it just gives you a variety of flavors and textures all in one bite. And it's also just such a great way to cook up a ton of veggies and just like make something delicious. So there we go. One skewer down, a bunch more to go. And like I said, I'm just gonna pop it onto my baking tray so that way they have somewhere to hang out while they do them. The fun thing about skewers, I think, is like how they just start to look so pretty once they all come together. And this is also a great thing to do with your family and your children, like as long as they're old enough to be able to push the vegetable through the skewer, like let them help you and, you know, cut up all the veggies. It lets them see all these beautiful colors and textures all together. And it's a, you know, I think it's a nice way to like help your kids start to learn about cooking and, stuff like that from an early age. I think this would be a good activity and then it takes some of the the workout for you too. <laughs> Finish skewering and look at these guys. They're beautiful. So these are ready to be brushed with marinade now. So let's make that marinade. I just have a bowl here. This is what we're gonna put our marinade ingredients in. So like I showed you guys earlier, we got that olive oil. Then we're adding in this teriyaki sauce. And then of course, finally our barbecue sauce. And this is just, like I said, going to give us a really nice, sweet, delicious marinade that was so easy to make. Three ingredients, that's it. Because all these things are already flavored, so you don't need to worry about adding in extra stuff. So now I'm just going to take my little whisk and mix all of this up. And I'm doing this in a white top. Should have worn a different color. <laughs> so we have our beautiful glaze. I have a nice... Um, silicone brush here for like kind of basting and we are just going to start brushing it onto our skewers as you can see I did already start a few and just coat this up really well don't worry if you have leftover we'll save it as a dipping sauce but we do need to coat all the sides of our skewers some people do like to marinate everything ahead of time um, I find then it's very messy to make your skewers so I would rather do it this way it all comes down to personal preference and whatever you want to do. If you'd rather marinate the tofu, but also too, I want the, you know, the pineapple and the vegetables to have this marinade on it. I want everything to have flavor. I want everything to have flavor. Do you hear me when I say that? So that's why I personally like to do it this way. You know, if you don't want to do it this way, don't do it this way. So we have one side of our skewers beautifully coated in our sauce. And now we're just going to give them a flip ski and coat the other side because as you can see the other side is sadly naked it doesn't have any dressing on it or marinade whatever and just make sure you're really coating everything well and you're getting all that nice flavor on there then we're going to let this marinate for at least you want to let them sit for at least like 
20, 20 ish minutes, I would say, but you can let them sit for longer. Like you could totally let these sit overnight and just really soak in that flavor and goodness. And the barbecue sauce and the teriyaki sauce together are really delicious, at least I think so. And that's, that's it. These are, these are really easy to make, like I said, and very easy to customize and easy to do what you want with. And just again, make sure you're getting all the sides, you know, like see there, that guy didn't have any over there especially on the tofu because the tofu is going to have no flavor that's why we love tofu because it soaks in whatever you're giving it but without that marinade it's not going to have any sauce on there or taste why did i say sauce okay let me finish brushing these on these look really good so we're going to let them sit like i said for a half hour and do their thing okay so for a side dish we are making a gorgeous watermelon salad so i already have my watermelon cut up right in here then we're going to add in believe it or not, some nice fresh peach. This is gonna add another delicious flavor and nothing is better than a summer peach. Then right in here, I've got microgreens and this is obviously just gonna add a nice, beautiful color and I love microgreens. They make everything look gorgeous. Next up, we've got our vegan feta. This is gonna add saltiness, deliciousness. It's really good. So pop that in there. I'm using the one from Follow Your Heart. Get out of here, little bug. <laughs> I have some crushed up almonds. These are Marcona almonds. Um, you can use pistachios if you want. You could use regular almonds, cashews, any nut will be good in here. So this is so exciting. This is our little garden that we have now. So I'm going to take a few beautiful leaves of this basil and just maybe like three or four leaves. That's perfect. We're gonna cut those up. And then I'm also gonna grab a few pieces of mint. I am so excited to have this little garden now. You have no idea. Like, I have been dying for a garden for a long time. So I'm really pumped. We're gonna put this on our salad. Let me just talk about how beautiful this looks. I am just, I washed my basil and my mint. I am going to quickly just cut up my, mint, my basil. So you just take the basil and then you roll it up and cut it into strips. So that is what I'm going to do going to add another nice like flavor in there very summery we love basil in the summer goes really nicely with the watermelon beautiful as for the mint I think we'll just kind of like plop a few mint leaves on there so you just kind of get it and you just get a little hint of mint and then um, I'm not gonna add any salt because the feta is gonna handle that saltiness and I'm not even really gonna add a dressing because this salad in and of itself is very flavorful. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm just gonna give it a little drizzle of oil. I measured out about two teaspoons in here, but I don't even know, let's see. I guess we'll use all of it. And doesn't that just look gorgeous? I was going to toss it up, but I don't know. I feel like we should just leave it alone because it looks so pretty. It is finally time to get our skewers onto the grill. Before we do that, I do just wanna say, if you don't have a grill or access to an outdoor grill, you could easily bake these. I do these all the time in like a little George Foreman grill. And honestly, that is my preferred way of doing skewers, but I wanted to like make this like we were having a fun summer barbecue outside, like a little theme meal. Um, or you can, you know, cook them on a pan, like a grill pan or something. So there's a lot of ways to do this and you don't have to use like an outdoor grill. And to be quite honest, I'm like a little nervous to use the outdoor grill because I'm afraid these are gonna stick, but hopefully we should have no problems. So yeah, and if you're liking this style of video, leave me a little comment and let me know because this is obviously a little bit different than the videos we usually do, so I hope you're enjoying it. So let's turn our grill on. I've cleaned off a little section of my grill. I have a little paper towel here with some oil, so I'm just gonna give that a brush before we turn our grill on. And then I'm going to probably put this on pretty low. Our, our grill runs very hot. So I'm gonna keep it lower, probably at about a medium, just because like I said, our grill specifically runs very hot. I've learned this the hard way. <laughs> so adjust accordingly to your grill. Okay, so I've got my grill just about to a medium heat here. So we're gonna start putting our skewers on and be careful obviously when you do this. And the trick, to this is we're gonna put them on and then we're gonna leave them alone. All right, the skewers have been cooking for about seven minutes. I could see there's a lot of nice browning happening and I think they're probably gonna be good to flip. 
So I have a pair of tongs because obviously we do not want to touch this hot metal. And you're just gonna, you may have to wiggle a little, be careful, but eventually you'll get it off and you can move it. I mean, that's kind of the only bad part about doing these on a grill outside is that the tofu might get a little bit stuck, but we will live. Oh, look how beautiful. We have some nice browning going on. That's exactly what we want. So I got everything flipped over. Thank goodness. Um, some of these guys did get a little bit more browned up and back, darker back there, but that's totally fine. Also, don't worry if your skewers fall apart. That may happen and you can just kind of push it back together and it's totally fine. Just be patient. And if you're pulling up the skewer and it's really sticking, give it a second because it might not like be entirely done cooking and stuff. So just give it a chance to finish cooking. But I was able to flip them. Some tofu got stuck a little bit, but it's totally fine. So, and like I said, you can just push everything back on the skewer. Who cares? I got them off the grill. They look gorgeous. Remember I told you we're gonna save that marinade. Just give everybody another little brush. Get that sauce on there, get that goodness. And if you know me well enough by now, you know what we're adding. A little bit of microgreens. I'll never stop loving them. They just look so gorgeous. I'm not gonna add any salt on top of this or anything. We don't need it. The barbecue sauce and the teriyaki sauce is enough saltiness as it is. And these are our completed recipes. They look so good. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, the full written out recipes are on the blog. Check the description box for everything you need to know. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.